Hello, welcome to Knitting Samurai Plus One. I am your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai, and this is episode two, Early Mornings. Um, show notes for this podcast can be found at the blog www.knittingsamuraiplus1.com <clears throat> and there is a discussion group for the podcast over on Ravelry, so come on over and let's chat. So let's get right into it. What's going on in my knitting world? Uh, first on the needles this week are the delivery socks. So these were socks that I had cast on and put in the hospital bag thinking I would knit them during delivery. Yeah, no, didn't happen. <laughs> there was no knitting during any stage of uh, labor. So these are, um, so this yarn is 3U's Twisted and Fiber. You'll look great in stripes in the Harry Potter colorway. Um, I am doing an afterthought heel. This is my first afterthought heel ever. Um, they're knit on US 1.5, 2.0, 2 2.5 millimeter needles. And yeah, so I couldn't stand it and had to jump right in and do the heel after I passed the point where I put the waist yarn. So I did like, I don't know, another inch and then went back and did the heel because I wanted to see how it would turn out. I did basically another toe on the heel, like toe decreases and then Kitchener at the end. And so I ended up with these, you can see the seams, double seams, not really wild about it. The sock itself fits really, really well. Um, I would say it's about a half an inch too long overall on the foot because I do wear giant size 11 shoes. Um, but these decreases are a little wonky. So next time I'll just space them evenly around, like every, I'll do the four decreases every other row, but I'll put them, I think it turns out to be like 16 stitches apart, so that it's, I don't know, it's less of a, oh yep, yeah, there's a seam, oh yep, yeah, there's the other seam. So it's, it blends into the fabric more, a little more like the decreases on the top of the hat. So, um, yeah. And at this point, I am working my way up the leg. I need to do, I figured it out to make it be the right length. I need four of the stripe repeats. So I've got two. So I'll do four of them and then I'll do ribbing. And the first off will be done. So this has been great uh, straight up stock knitting, which um, is good when you have a baby asleep on your chest and stomach. And you can knit around the baby. <laughs> um, it is much easier to knit around a sleeping baby than it was to knit around that giant belly. So um, for anyone who's pregnant out there, it will be better <laughs> after you have the baby. Although who knows if your baby's going to want to use you as a pillow the way our baby does. So um, those are the delivery socks. So they're coming along. And I love that yarn. It's really, really nice feels good on the hand. Um, sorry, I didn't print out show notes, but I did write some, so that's an improvement over last week. And there you have your Linus. <laughs> He's checking you out. Um, next is the Rhinebeck sweater, which, uh, well, the sweater I'm calling the Rhinebeck sweater, which is the Melrose Peacoat by Cicely Glowick McDonald. I'm using Cascade Eco Plus in color 515, which is navy, as you can see, um, knit on US size 10 or 6.0 millimeter needles, and it's going along. It's, uh, it's, so when we go for a car ride or go somewhere, run an errand, generally I ride in the back and Steve rides in the front, because uh, I like to sit with Roland and check on what he's doing and, you know, make sure he stays calm. So this has been what I've been working on in the car. And I would say, please hold, we're going to have a little measuring here. Um, I would say it is, ooh, it's 14 inches long. I think I have to start doing decreases or something at that point. And now I'm curious. So just, just hold on one second. So that is the right front that I'm working on. And this is what the 
finished sweater looks like. So, and now McElbean is walking behind the camera. So he might come and say hi as well. Back, right front. Uh-oh, I was supposed to go to 12 and a half inches for my size. Yep, here comes his nose. Maybe not. What is so interesting? <laughs> you think they've never seen a camera before. I don't know what they're doing. So, anyway, so good. I'm starting arm hole decreases next. So, I doubt it'll be done in time for a back, but I'm still calling it that, and I'm still working on it. It is really drapey, <clears throat> and this yarn is not super wash yarn, so that's, that's a new endeavor for me, but um, I like it. I like it so far so good. And if it, I am knitting um, the 50 inch chest and I would normally be a 48 inch chest. So I'm hoping that if it is really drapey and a little too big when I'm done, I can give it a few minutes in the dryer and I'll cinch up and be a little tighter. Nah. Yeah, I'm playing fast and loose with my knitting. And I have no idea what my gauge is or if it's even right, but it should be close. So. That's great, right? That's great. Um, what else? So, the Veritas. I've talked about that. The fingerless mitts and the matching cowl that I've been working on. Here is... Doo -doo -doo. That's what it looks like. And I'm knitting exactly the colors that the pattern calls for. And I'm looking to pull it out. So this stringy mess is the first fingerless mitt. So I had talked about it before pre-delivery, so while I was still pregnant and I was working on it, and I was concerned that, oh, look at all these strings, I really need to weave those in, concerned that it wasn't going to fit and that, uh, and I was hopeful that there were swelling in my hands and wrists and that's what was keeping it from fitting. And lo and behold it is because they are snug, but they fit and they're not uncomfortable. So um, I'm definitely thrilled to have, and I'm saying there, I only have one done. I'm definitely thrilled to see it finished. And you can see a little flower pattern right here. It's so pretty, so pretty. I love them. So that's the first one. Um, this is Veritas by Julie Trice, and I am using Classic Elite Yarns Bamboo, no, Classic Elite Yarns Wool Bamboo. Um, so the ribbing is on size 3s, and the rest of it is on US 4s, which is a 3.5 millimeter needle. Um, there are seven different colors in this, so you're changing every, I want to say six or eight rows to a different color combination. Um, I've done most of my knitting on this this week. In fact, on Tuesday, I called my mother and said, would you please come and hold Roland so that I can knit? <laughs> because I really wanted to work on these, and color work is not something you can just throw down if the baby starts crying. So, um, yeah, when someone else has been responsible, Steve, Mom, whatever, I'm like, oh, knit, 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 knit. So the first fingerless knit is done, and then I started the cowl. So this is the matching cowl, um, and this is what I have so far. So I actually, by mistake, did a little bit extra ribbing at the bottom, so, um, and what else? I think that's the only thing I've done to change this pattern, so I love it. Um, it's a few stitches around. It's funny, it's like I'm knitting a baby sweater for color work, doesn't it? That's what it reminds me of. It doesn't make me think of a cowl, but it will be really nice. And I wish you could feel how dense it is. And there is like no space in between these stitches. Like it's perfect. And here's the inside. So my, um, my color work is doing pretty good. Looks pretty even and nice. And there's a cat hair. Um, yeah, so they're going along pretty well. I really like this. I really like it. So I have done three of the 12 color work sections that are part of this. I'm, on, I'm a couple rows into the fourth. So maybe I'll have the cowl done.
probably in a couple weeks. It won't be next week, but it's pretty. So it's gonna be really pretty, and I'm gonna love it and wear it everywhere I go at Rhinebeck and this fall. Um, speaking of Rhinebeck, I don't know if any of you are members of the Rhinebeck group over on Ravelry. It's a great place to get information about the, um, you know, whatever meetups or Ravelry parties. There, are, there isn't one this year, but I've used it in the past to get information about vendors and places to eat and hotels and buses and transportation. It's a great resource, but uh, there's a few podcasters over there talking about doing a podcaster meetup. So as of this point, I believe Knitting Nirvana and um, JD from Twisted Strands and the ladies from Knit One Heart Two, Sheila and Wendy, are all going to, they're talking, and oh, and maybe Fiber Nymph, are talking about um, meeting up on Saturday around one in the afternoon and throwing out places to meet. At this point, the talk is around the big tree, the big beautiful tree by the bathroom, which is pretty much the center, like the main artery of the fairgrounds. And it's across, previous years, it's across from the pretzel guy and sort of diagonal from the artichoke vendors. So, um, and this would be Linus coming to sit on me. He's been going through attention withdrawal since uh, he's no longer the the main baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're talking about that. So if you're going to be at Rhinebeck and you want to meet any of us, uh, pop on over, say you're going to be there, or don't, or just show up and say hi, and we'd love to meet you. Um, at this moment right now, Steve, Roland, and I are planning on going to Rhinebeck. I will probably be the only one at the fairgrounds. I know, I know, you all want to meet Roland. But um, he'll, he'll just be over six weeks, and I'm not sure about bringing him into that much of a crowd and how we'll do. So I might just run there, go hit the booths I want, Socks That Rock, and probably Sanguine Griffin are like my must, and then visit a few others. Fiber Optics. What else did I buy? Holiday Yarns last year. I love Holiday Yarns. Yeah, so this is our first rhyme back together and also our first Christmas coming up here so um and Roland's first all these things too oh, it probably won't mean as much to him as it will to you and I but um anyway so yeah rhyme back it's coming up and I'm I bet I would say we're 70 percent gonna be there so things are going well and anyways you don't want to hear about that right now so um yeah come over say hi podcast or meetup I have back. So that's a Veritas. Um, last thing on the needles that I finished this, well I finished, it's not on the needles anymore, is the Simple Baby Hat by Allison Williams. This was knit with Barocco DK, Comfort DK, in color 2758 and 2761. 58 is the blue color, 61 is the green color. Um, I knit it on US size 5. 3.75 millimeter needles and there are she has a bunch of sizes like preemie newborn baby toddler you know they go by the head circumference and um yeah my boy his head's kind of big so instead of getting the newborn which he's today is his three week birthday yay um <laughs> is so technically he's still newborn right i don't know i had to knit the um baby size because his squash his melon his head is so large and um so i finished it and it just fits him like okay it's knit it's gonna stretch fine but yeah <laughs> he got a big head so um he'll probably wear this for like two weeks and then we'll be moving on but uh yeah so this is finished quick little baby hat right and then you remember all those lovely baby socks I was knitting I had knit a bunch in November when we were first thinking hey it would be nice to start a family and then I knit a bunch more these last six seven weeks before the baby was born one pair fits him so one pair out of like 16 pairs fits him because his feet are so massive I um, 
I've got a lot of, of baby shower gifts, I guess. <laughs> my mom was saying, well, why don't you hold on to them in case you have another child? And it's like, oh, maybe I will with my favorite colors and pairs, but that's a lot of baby socks. And yeah, he wore one pair for one of our walks. We have been walking every morning. And so he's in that baby hawk. And it's right up close to your chest. And then we zip our sweatshirt around him. But one morning it was warm enough that it was like, I'm not wearing a sweatshirt. So we put socks on his feet, hat on his head, took him out. He was fine. But it was funny to see him with his uh, socks. Well, I took a picture and put it on the project page. Him with his onesie and then his socks. <laughs> All this leg showing. Skinny, skinny leg. So, uh, yeah, one pair fits him. And it's the red pair that actually matches my... It was opal. I knit myself a pair and then knit him a pair with the leftovers. Yeah, so, and they'll probably fit for a week. This baby knitting stuff, man, they grow fast. Um, so, um, moving on to the plus one portion, which is basically this week going to be me babbling about how big and cute my baby is. <laughs> so sorry if you don't want to hear it. I'm still in that, oh, it's so cute face. Um, so Roland had his two-week checkup last week on Monday. He had his checkup today, Saturday, September 24th. Look at that. I even know the date because on Tuesday we thought it was Wednesday and we got all confused about what we were doing. But on Monday he had his checkup and he is in the 90th percentile for height. So he's tall little man and 75th percentile for weight so um, way back when when he was when the, was it the week it wasn't the week 20 it must have been like week 35 ultrasound he was in the 68th percentile so he stayed right around it so that's great um, yeah and then his head is off the charts <laughs> It's really funny. So the doctor is showing us, oh look, this is 90, 75th, and then his head is not on the charts for a two-week-old baby. So, um, but she said not to worry about it, that it's perfectly fine. He's not like, you know, five times the size of what he should be. He's just slightly above. And he, uh, she was making a joke that it means big brains. And that's all. Don't worry about it. So we're not worried about it. And he is officially over nine pounds. Woo! And outgrowing, he's outgrown um, like the zero to three month Gerber onesies. So we're heading into the three month size for him, which is amazing that he's such a, you know, three weeks old and he's about to start wearing three month, not zero to three, three month size stuff. So um, Steve has been reading, well, he's been reading, I've been reading, we've both been reading the week by week. Uh, first year week by week book by Glade Curtis and Judith Schuler, I think. I'll be very impressed with myself if I got that right. Um, I had listened to the pregnancy version every week during pregnancy, and so now this is the first year version, first year of life, and so we're reading it every week. And according to them, Roland is the size of an eight week old lengthwise because he's up to 22 inches. So, um, Steve is very, very proud because, you know, his family is rather short. <laughs> I think he and his brother are the tallest ones in the family at 5'10", 5 5'10", 5 well, and his brother's like 5'11". So, um, yeah, his dad, I think, is like 5'3". So, I'm taller than both of his parents. He is taller than both of his parents, but, so, and, and his grandmother's even smaller than, um, both grandmothers are smaller than his parents, so they're progressively getting taller in that family. So, um, yeah, he's really proud. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if Roland was born on opening day for football or something, like September 3rd. I don't know if that was a big football day or what, but he has gone football crazy since we had a son. And I was joking with one of my girlfriends about it. Well, our, yeah, they're she's both of our friends. We went to uh, high school with her. And anyways, joking with her about it, like, Steve has gone crazy for football. And she was like, Steph, 
Steve is the most crazy person about football I know. I was like, well, he's cranked up that dial and now he is like ultra fanatic and walking around carrying a football and Roland has his baby football and football, football, football. I'm surprised we don't have Patriots jerseys in the house yet for Roland because Steve has Patriots jerseys. But yeah, to the point where we actually got cable so that Steve could watch football games again. Anyways, it's funny, and I know he would not have gone this crazy if we had had a girl, but the fact that he is a son, and he's a big son, and he can play football someday makes him a little crazy about it. So, um, what else is going on? I am waiting for my little guy there to smile at me when he's not pooping, because, you know, the, yeah, that's or gas, whatever, that's normal. I don't know when he's going to smile, but every day I get up and I'm just like, is today the day you're going to smile? <laughs> no, not so much. And what else can I tell you? He's been super fussy in the afternoons from about noon to 8 p.m. Like, it, it's, it goes in spurts, you know, but that's his fussy time. And then he'll sleep for four or five hour stretches during the night, so that's great. And I should be very thankful that his fussy time is not at like 1 a.m. But it does get tiring by the time you get to 7 o'clock. You're just like, please go to sleep. Please stop. <laughs> Relax, buddy. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what we've been dealing with with that. And then, um, yeah. Update on me. Walking every day and I've got... 12 pounds left to lose, so that's great. I had purchased one pair of pants that were one size up from what I normally wear, and yesterday I got brave and tried them on. Yeah, if I didn't want to breathe, they fit. <laughs> but breathing is still important, so, you know, it's funny. It's like, oh, it's just 12 pounds left to go, but I, I swear, it's like all in the belly, and it's just, I'm re proportion differently or on proportion differently than I was pre-pregnancy but I think the walks are really helping and pretty soon I'll be cleared to do whatever physical activity I want so that'll be great I'm gonna start playing the connect um, we bought that when I first got pregnant because I thought it would be a great way to you know stay fit and be active and then I realized hey I'm pregnant I shouldn't be jumping around and doing dance moves, and I could fall and hurt myself, so I never actually used it. I used it like three times, so it'll be good to use that and, you know, play this. We have the adventures game and then whatever the dancing game is, so between the two of those, I think I'll have a good time. Of course, that's assuming I have some time when I'm not a rolling pillow, mattress, whatever, with him sleeping on me, but it's okay. It's okay. It will return to normal, right? <laughs> or the new normal, whatever that is. So, that's enough babble. <laughs> Moving on to what's new with you. I wanted to show you guys, this is a crocheted blanket that Roland's midwife made for us. I actually, she has these really pretty ribbon that she wrote on it. I actually haven't even taken it out yet. Um, it's gorgeous and it's super dense. And oh, it's so nice and soft. So this was, uh, this was Carol, our midwife. Yes, she made this for Roland. So yay, cute little baby blanket. I have no idea. I, it's really thick. That's all I can tell you. I don't crochet, but oh, maybe you can see more detail about it if you crochet. But it's really nice. So this is, this is for him, which I'm sure will company us in the car and he'll get lots of good use out of that and then I did get some new yarn while I was in the hospital <laughs> so I thought I would share it with you um, you know how I bought all that Claudia hand paint fingering yarn to knit the um, earth and sky shawl there was one color I absolutely loved but I could only get one at my LYS which was cabin fever and so I actually was buying the yarn for the Veritas from Webs, and I just checked and they had this um, cabin fever colorway as well but it was on back order and so I ordered it at that time and then it came in while we were busy at the hospital and I'm just now <laughs> opening up mail um, and dealing with bills but 
uh, yeah, so this came. This is my new yarn. It is basically like a, um, I would say mauve and gold and silver and blue and slate and fuchsia. It's a lot of colors in here. Did I say gold? A little bit of brown. It's very, very plum. It's a lot of colors and it's very pretty. Very pretty. So I now have three skeins of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to end up somewhere in this general area as a FO. Yeah. So uh, that was new this week. And then I think Rolla needs another hat. Because it's cold and I just like to keep him in hats. He's so cute. And plus he's balding a little bit on the top. I know. He looks like an old man. He's got the hair around here. And it's still really thick in the back. Which is weird because I thought most babies sleep. Well, they do sleep on their back. And so that would like rub off the hair. Or break it or something. But no, his hair is fine in the back. It's the top that's all thinned way, 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 way out. And so he... and course his hair is all looking a lot lot lighter than it was when he was born like I would say he was a dark brunette like me when he was born and now he's very light slightly darker than the couch color just like really light but still not any thinner in the back so I don't understand how baby hair works and I thought it was all gonna fall out but apparently only the top is gonna fall out um, <laughs> so he needs a hat so I think I'm going to knit another one of the um, simple newborn, you know, simple baby hats by Allison Williams again. But I'm going to use Socks That Rock Heavyweight this time. And this is the farmhouse colorway. I got it, I believe, last year at Rhinebeck. It may... Floss. Yes, it is a male end. But it's sort of a rainbow color, um, but more muted. And I'm hoping that the red fuchsia color isn't, you know, too feminine. And if it is, oh well. Because he can't say anything about it. <laughs> and I'm his mom, and I want to knit a hat this color and put it on his head. I mean, come on, he's been wearing that rainbow hat. So this is sort of like the rainbow hat, but with the funness of socks and rock. So that will be next on the needles. Um... Do I have anything else to tell you? No. I think that's it. Um, I do actually have one more knit item. I'm going to go grab that. Hold on. One of my mom's friends, when she saw a picture of Roland, had um, went to see one of her friends, who's a knitter, and got a baby sweater and hat for him. And so these are knit out of Sirdar Crofter DK. It's Fair Isle FX DK. Um, it doesn't say the content on the tag, which sort of surprises me. Yeah, but it's machine washable. So here's the hat. I should put a little bow on it. So that's really cute. And then here is the matching sweater. And she believes this is for a 12 month old. That's what the tag says that she knit for. Um, I'm going to guess Roland will be wearing this this winter at around six or eight months. Like, he's our big boy. So, it's pretty. It's, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see the colors, but purple and gray and blue and green and a little bit of taupe. So, very cute, very cute little sweater for him. I'm, I was thrilled because, you know, sometimes, I mean, yeah, be nice, Stephanie. <laughs> Sometimes people don't knit as nice as other people would knit. So, um, yeah, and that reminds me of the local knitting, my local knitting group. They're so sweet. They sent me a card with gift certificates for Babies R Us, um, the, our favorite brick oven pizza place, Michael's, the local yarn shop, 
and then just some cash as well. Like, how sweet is that? And a card saying, congratulations on the baby. You have to bring him for us all to meet, which I will. Um, but they sent that, and I was like, I opened the card, and I was like, oh, they didn't nip me anything. And Steve looks at me, he's like, seriously? You think people are going to nip for you? Like, you are so fussy, and they know you. Like, they know how you are. And I was like, I'm not that fussy. I'm not. Seriously, if you want to nip for me, please do, because I would be very happy to have anything. But, yeah. So, we were laughing about it. It's like, oh, my local knit sibs didn't want to nip for me. But I really appreciate the, uh, the kind gesture of all those gift certificates and they will be it will be fun to get out and say all right i'm going to the lys to spend this and treat myself so anyways that's now all i have for you this week um i hope you are doing well and enjoying your knitting time and getting plenty of it <laughs> i'm working on getting some sleep um yeah so have a great week and i will catch back up with you next week take care